All right, here we go back again. Box three of the case, box four overall. I'm gonna tear in, do a little, uh, do a little digging, and hopefully uh, not get some duplicates like we've been getting. Yeah, I got, I got play sets a few of a few of these things already, so I don't know. Oh, beautiful box topper. At least none of them are bent. And I did get that mop press. So. So I've gotten two of the least expensive toppers and one of the most expensive. Let's hope for another grade box. All right, here we go. Start tearing in. All right. Another Lou Tree. Very nice. Likes me some loot tree. I think that makes three of him already. Hmm? Duplication is for real. All right. Let's see what we got. Migratory great horn. Voracious great shark. Not so hot of a start. But then again, we have 34 more packs to go, so I'm going to tear through today. Garuda. There we go. Still missing the uh, Luca. Still missing a couple of the, a uh, couple, ooh. Snapdax. Oh my God, look at that art. That's amazing, dude. Oh. Love that. Love it. Amazing. God, that, that artwork just blows my mind. Almost speechless. Kinnon, number three. Fully grown, number one, I think. Where are all of the other cards? Like I said, I don't mind uh, I don't mind pulling three Kinnons. It's a worthwhile card. I already got my buddy Ray already wants one, so. Alright, so that in three. I well, at least trade him two. I like to trade cards. I'm not a, I mean I do sell cards, but I prefer to trade. I'm old school. Cub Warden. I think that's a new one. Oh, you know what? I have the Cub Warden Showcase. Not the regular Cub Warden. Alright, Extinction Event. Bleh. Even the bad cards in this set are still pretty decent. They still seem playable. It's going to be a good set, I do believe. Do we have another one? Gem Razor. Well, it's kind of a womp womp. does make two showcase rares though. Yeah. Two showcase rares. All right. Or I'm sorry, showcase rare and a showcase mythic. Predictable cyclone. Almost done with a third of this box already. I am flying tonight. For a great horn, voracious great shark. Some of these cards just crack me up. Porky, porky parrot, or whatever it was. Oh boy! Look at those coming ding down to the. What is that? See that? Looks like a defect in the cards right out of the pack. Hey, there's the Porky Parrot. Inspired Ultimatum. Got a foil. Ultimatums, they do good stuff, but the casting cost is rough. That casting cost just oh, makes me cringe. Oh, Luna. There you are. The beautiful Luna. Luna. 
needed that. I don't think I have, I have the uh, Luna Showcase, but I don't think I have the regular one yet. Volt Paquette. Zin Zerda. Oh, that's the Fox. Yeah. Oh, and a Gem Razor. That's not the foil rare you want, but I'll take it. That makes a complete set of Gem Razors. Oh, you know what? I don't have a regular Gem Razor. I have a foil. I have a showcase. And I have a monster. I guess I don't have a foil showcase. So. Another ultimatum. Is that two inspired ultimatums? Yeah. Here we go with the duplication again. This is nutso, dude. Come oh, on, man. Get some, get some uh, randomization here. I think what I'm going to do when I'm done with these boxes, I'm, I have my uh, commander sitting over here. I think I'll open those on Robin Triome. I think I'll open those on camera, too. That'll be fun. I mean, there, there's no randomness to it, but it's still, it's still a new product. I'd like to see it. I'd like to share it. Pouncing Shore Shark. Yoi Ron. Boy Lee. Halfway there. Halfway done. Let's see what we can see here. This is Snapdax. Or, I'm sorry, Brokos. Snapdax, that's the white one. Flying tonight. A little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit short on time. I got called out at 4:30 in the morning last night. So, quartzwood crasher. I was at work from 4:30 until a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. So, and then we had our boys and stuff. So I hung out a little bit with the family. And now we're. Thought. Now we're back in business here. We're doing some uh, doing some ripping. It's one of my favorite things to do. You know, growing up in Youngstown, Ohio. Growing up in Youngstown, we had a few baseball card shops. I actually worked at a baseball card shop. I worked at a archipelago. Nice. Worked at a card shop and a gem razor. I just said I didn't have a regular gem razor. So now we got the full Monty. I worked at a card shop. It was fun growing up. That was one of my favorite things to do was rip these packs. Me and my boy Kalo. We ripped so many packs. We had no money. But we still ripped packs. We still found a way. We used to trade, working at Little Caesars, used to trade pizzas for cards. Oh, those were the days. Here it is. Two thirds of the way in. This stuff is just, the artwork is amazing. Karuga. I don't know. Does it seem to you that I'm getting a lot, a lot of these uh, companions? I mean, I've already got the full set. Oh, I'm missing, missing, swinging and missing on the big boys. I mean, well, I, think, ah, I can't I take that back. Kahira, <laughs> speak of the devil. There's another one. The most expensive card I'm missing. I'm missing a, I'm missing a few, and I've got play sets of others already. It's craziness. Oh, the, uh, I've already got one of these in this box. That's frustrating. Oh, the duplication. What do we got here? Boneyard Lurker. That's a cool looking card. And an Offspring's Revenge. That's not so great. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Necro Panther. Lava Brink. That's a new one. Lava Brink Venture. 
Get me a little bit closer to the scent. At least I think that's a new one. Pretty sure it is. So we are uh, four boxes in. Emergent Ultimatum. Ultimatums. I only got one uh, Triome out of this box too. This is, is going to be my. It's going to be the bad box of the case. I have a have a sneaking suspension. We could get we could get saved by our box topper, but oh, ooh, I see some shininess back there. We got an Ozolith and a beautiful Parcel Beast. Oh, if only that was a uh, mythic rare or something like that. It would have been amazing. I only got one rare, and it was a garbage rare. I got three gem razors. That's like the worst rare in this set so far. <laughs> Classification. Plus 20, plus 20. Shenanigans. Gonna be some shenanigans. Pork to parrot. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. Slither Wisp. Bird Beast. All right. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We need some. This box needs some help. Omori, the collector. Nice. That's a newbie for me. Rip, rip, rip. Hunted Nightmare. Two more packs. Almost, almost to that finish line. Crystalline Golem. That makes five of those now. So I did a uh, little price breakdown on the boxes so far. We'll see where this one sits when I'm done. Glowstone Recluse. We've got... There's a Valdrock. Oh, and an Eerie Ultimatum. Once again, not the rare we want. All right, um, <laughs> here we go, through the looking glass, if I can get it open without damaging the card, okay, it is backwards, all right, time for our reveal, come on baby, big money, no whammies, Doom Inevitable Godzilla. Look at that bad little mamma jammy. Trample Haste Cycling. What's his name? That is... I can't read that. Vidaro. Wandering Monster. Oh, Yadaro. Wandering Monster. I've got plenty of those. That's pretty awesome. He's, uh... These little... Uh, masterpieces are... Flipping awesome. So, give me one second here. All right. So, if I go to my price breakdown, box one we did, the value is $74.56. Box two, $110.46. Box three, $95.51. So, not too shabby. We're staying around that $90 mark. We got one above, one below. I believe this one's going to be below. I don't I don't think that Godzilla's worth anything. I mean, it's worth something, but not going to be worth a ton. But uh all right, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments and uh we will see you tomorrow for box number 4. You have a great night. See ya.